All right, guys, Brett and I, Millimeter USA here, and here we go. This is the Emperor Scorpion 1911 full size from Sig Sauer, and the Smith and Wesson 1911 full size. Some of the subscribers have been asking me to bring both pistols out and kind of do a showdown between the two, a little shoot off between the two. I got to tell you, both 1911s have been 100% reliable. This one I understand is new. This one is over 10 years old. This one has a little more texture, a little bit more roughness to the grip area. The Smith & Wesson is a little thinner in the grip and with the straight serrations here up front, it doesn't bite into your skin as much when you're holding it in your hand. But that's the major differences. Obviously this one has a rail so you can put lights on it or whatnot. But both pistols have been excellent. Both pistols have been 100% reliable and we're just gonna shoot them against each other here and see how it goes. Thanks for watching. All right, the Sig Sauer 1911 Emperor Scorpion with the eight round Checkmate mags. That's what came with it. That's what we're gonna shoot it with. Just feels great in the hand. I can tell, at least it feels to me like it's not moving very much for a 1911. It just feels like it's staying planted. The rounds could have been faster, but I'm trying to shoot some accuracy here. This is what I did for today anyway, from 10 yards away. Shoots perfect, man. Just feels great. 100% reliable. Feels terrific in the hand. The night sights from SIG, you know, help you pinpoint where you want to hit and not a bad group. So that's the first mag. Shoots very well. Headshots on that one. It's starting to break in. It's starting to be a little smoother. So there's your headshots from the six hour 1911 Emperor Scorpion. It is starting to break in. It does seem to be getting smoother. Let's see, what do you think we have through this? 150 rounds maybe? Yeah. So out of 150 rounds, not one malfunction. And I've seen a couple of these now for sale in the same gun store where I bought mine. So they are starting to be out there. I know some of the subscribers have special ordered this pistol after seeing it on our videos. And I've highly encouraged that. I hope they have the same luck with the reliability that this one has had. Just a great 1911. Love it. All right, Smith & Wesson coming next. Okay, Smith & Wesson 1911. I am so glad I never sold this pistol. I had to talk you into keeping it. I know, there was a time when I was gonna sell it and I was offered quite a bit of money for it because they're not made anymore, or at least I don't think the exact one is made still. It just shoots fantastic. It's got a smaller exterior ejector compared to the uh, Sig Sauer. It has a smaller ejector on the outside. It's got the full link guide rod where the Sig Sauer does not. It does not have night sights, it just has white contrast sights on it. I think those are Novak. But they're pretty quick to put on target. And it, it does feel smoother in the hand because it doesn't have as much texturing in the grip. So it feels a little bit more friendly to your hand when you're shooting it. Here's the group on this one, jeez. Like I said, I'm really happy that I still have this pistol. So it was an eight round mag, right? Yeah. Eight awesome. round mag. So seven rounds are one hole. And then one round went up a little bit high. Just a great job by the Smith & Wesson 1911. Am I going to pick one over the other? I like them both. I like them both a lot. 
I think that's one of the reasons why people like watching our channel is I'm not just brand myopic. I don't like one brand so much over other brands. I like good pistols. And Smith & Wesson makes a great pistol and so does Six Hour, in my opinion. Let's see what we can do for headshots. Yeah, it's cocked and locked and ready to go. So when I draw it, I sweep the safety off. It's a terrific pistol, guys. Smith & Wesson. 1911 it has a great trigger on it and i think that may be helping it a little bit comparing it to the relatively new sig sour again this pistol is 10 years old almost 11 years old we found the receipt on it the other day i've never shot a lot of rounds through them they're more fun range guns to me this is not a carry gun for me so taking it out to the range two or three or four times a summer over the last 10 years i don't know exactly how many rounds i put through it but usually it's around 100 rounds each time I take it out. So not a whole lot of rounds, but this is what we got. So earlier we were right here, headshots right there. It's very smooth. Um, the action just feels terrific and the trigger is phenomenal. I got the sights on target and I just squeeze the trigger and it does a great job. Love them both. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting. All right, you guys, the Sig Sauer Emperor Scorpion 1911, cocked and locked. Headshots. Five rounds, and then I pulled the other three just a little low. You had five rounds that would have been one hole. <laughs> yeah. So I pulled a few of my rounds just a little bit, but wow, that is fun to shoot. It's beautiful, and it uh, it really feels great in the hand. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about the Emperor Scorpion or Sig Sauer 1911s in general is how small the safety is for a left-handed shooter. Nice shooting, young Beretta.